Okay, this is John with theinfosheets.com, and I'm going to show you how to thread your white Model 1919 sewing machine. The um, plaque is over here in the back, and that'll help you um, identify it. And now let's watch how you thread it. So let's first look at it visually before I start. We're going to go behind this lever, through the tensioning device, to the bottom, and then up through the arm, back down through this little wire loop, through the thread, and underneath the foot. Okay, so let's do that. Let's lift the lever. When you lift the lever, it relaxes the tension, and it's easier to pull the thread out. When it's under tension, it's a little harder to pull. All right, so to do this, I'm gonna just set my finger <laughs> on the thread. It gives you a little close-up, but that works. Now let's see if we can hear this. Did you hear that? That was it getting into the right location. <clears throat> now we're gonna go ahead and put it in <clears throat> in there. And you see that there's no tension right now. Let me pop it down again. There's no tension right now, so when there's no tension, the thread wants to go in the right place. So maybe you want to have the, the foot lifted and it'll help you thread it properly. With the foot down, you get tension. <clears throat> now let's go through the bottom. And it kind of just, as you loop, it kind of snaps into the right location. Now we're going to go back up to the arm from the inside, pulling it to the towards the outside, the front. Now we're going to go to the bottom of these wire loops. I'm just going to bring it from the back and circle around. I'm going to pause here while I thread it. Okay, it's threaded. Now I'm going to show you the bobbin um, threading. Now on the bobbin you can see these two little levers and they're actually holding the whole plate in, so leave those those plastic pieces in position, they're not part of it. This is the bobbin. And to thread the bobbin, we basically put it in um, probably um, would prefer to to do a video on that separately, but basically it comes in and loops down. So to put it back in position, we're going to have the little um, needle pointing up, little arm pointing up, and that arm fits into a little indentation at the top. Okay, so we're going to just have this thread sitting here and um, just let it dangle out there. And what we're going to do is we're going to lift up our arm, go behind, go in front rather, through the foot. Let's do that right. Okay, I'm going to loop it around here so I can do it one-handed and actually hold it with the camera. Okay, because you want this to be tight so that it'll pull the thread up. Now, do you see how it pulled the thread up there? There's a little loop there. And you should probably keep holding it tight while you take your, your something to kind of pull that top thread so that you get both of them out. So now it basically threads itself as long as you leave the loop dangling when you pull it um, it'll, um, it'll come out just by looping. When you drop it your tension engages, everything engages so when you stitch make sure you stitch with um, the foot down even if it's really thick um, let the, um, if you hold it up you'll have no tension and you really can't sew in that position so you need to have the foot in so that's why you actually raise the foot not the lever when you're sewing something thick okay so do realize that you need to have the tension of this I show in another video when this fails how to adjust the tension let me just mention quickly there is basically a screw that goes from there to there with a spring in it and that spring gets compressed over time and there's an adjustment knob that allows you to tighten it so that that spring gets more compressed and therefore your tension starts working again so if you are having 
trouble, you can look at my other video and get that fixed. All right. Thank you. This has been John with the InfoSheets.com.